Hi, my name is Julio Casal, and in this video I will show you how a developer can fix a bug reported by a tester, how the tester can verify that that fix, and finally how he can close the bug. Remember we are using Visual Studio uh, 2010 Beta 2, and also Team Foundation Server Beta 2, and Test and Lab Manager Beta 2. So, uh, I have uh, received the notice that the tester has created a, a new bug for me. So what I'm going to do right now is to open Visual Studio and see which are my current bugs. So I will log into Team Foundation Server as a developer, of course. Okay. And in the right hand side, I will go to, my, to Work Items, Team Queries, and see my bugs. You can see I do have a bug here. Okay, and I want to see the information about this. Let's see. Okay, here are the steps. You can see here the steps that the tester performed. He or she opened the application, didn't enter a book type, and then clicked search. Okay, application crashed. Let's see the this attachment. Let's see how, how much information do we have. We can see clearly there's an, an exception here. Apparently, an argument null exception seems like book type is not being passed to the function. This is very useful. Let's continue. We can see we do have video links here, which is really, really useful. So let's click here, see what, what we get. You can see this is the video reproduction of what the, the tester did while he was trying to check this specific scenario. You can see there's the bug. He didn't just enter a, a book type, so it's pretty easy to understand that. Okay, let's just close this for now. What else do we have here? Let's see. This is the test configuration, Windows 7 IE8, the applications that were running right in that moment. We can see this action lock, which will tell me um, what specific actions were performed into the application. Okay, so you can even see from what directory the application was, was run and most importantly uh, for each step which steps were performed. So for example for click search, okay, he, the, the user first clicked the main window title bar then clicked search, okay, then well, um, well then just click the close button because this is not really recording the actual the actual other uh, Windows dialog that, that, uh, that was opened. So let's just close this. We do have some more system information that we can actually see here in System Info. We can know the, the, no, the name and the domain of the, the machine, the version, Windows version, you can see that, the locale of Windows, the available memory, you know, a lot of information related to the computer, which is also really useful. We can also see the test cases that are associated with this specific um, bug. You can see this is the test case that the, the tester was trying to, to, to perform and here are all the links related to, to this bug. Okay, so now that, uh, that we saw all that information, maybe we can just fix this bug. So let's close this and let's go to Recent Project and Solutions Bookstore. Okay. So here we are, and now let's run the application, see if we can reproduce the bug. Okay, we're going to de debug the application, starting right now. Okay, there we are. We will not enter a book type and click search. So there's the bug. You can see, value cannot be null. Okay, this this window in the right side, which is the new Intel trace, uh, would allow you to just jump back to any specific point in the application if uh, the the information that you're receiving right now is not really enough for you. So, for example, I can I can go back to this exception, to this other exception 
to click it search you see you can go back as much as, as you want okay this is really not really complicated so it's pretty obvious that this book type is not coming not really coming okay so going back to the main main window.saml we can see that this text is going blank so it's pretty easy to fix let's just stop this fix this quickly so let's just say you know we do have another another function which is this one get book list that will not uh, will not ask for any book type but will just return all the books that that's the one that we want right here so let's just uh, do this okay you can see I just check it out the, the the source code in the right side because I'm going to make change let's say if string dot is null or empty type text box dot text okay we will do something else we will do what we were just doing what we will do if there's no text in the type text box let's just return all books which should fill the requirement okay now let's run this again click search okay wait a little bit and there we go there's all the information from all the books so we just fixed this bug what we have to do now is to check in this change of course always associ associating this checking with the appropriate work item in this case it will be this bug bug 47 I will just resolve this this bug and click check in okay that's good let's close close all these documents and now let's take the role of the tester that wants to verify that the bug has actually been resolved so let's open test and lab manager let's log in as the as a tester okay now let's go to the track tab and let's say if we have any new bug assigned to, to us as, as a tester let's click run and there you go we do have a resolved uh, bug which is bug 47 that is associated to our test so let's see if, if that is true let's go to test and let's try to run this again okay let's run this time we don't really need to create an action recording we just want to to run the, the steps in the test see if it, it it passes okay let's open bookstore there we go do not okay open application passes do not enter the book type passes and now let's click search wait a little bit and there we go the information is right there so we can say that this last step just pass it and end the test let's close this okay then now going back to this 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 main UI window you can see the test is now marked as pass it the green bar is here and we can also go to the tracking tracking window go to my box open this this box and mark this as closed save and close and that's it so I hope you like this like this I'll see you again in the next video see you again